Now, all of that, okay, um, wouldn't have been as good as it is now with uh, the refresh rate that we had in the physics engine. As you know, in the simulators, uh, a physics engine refreshes uh, a number of times in a second. This is the refresh rate. So that means that in a second, our physics engine will collect all the data, make the calculations, and then release all the data to make the car change behavior, and then recollect from there, and so on and so on. Okay. And this happens until now 333 times per second for the whole physics engine. So every second, our physics engine will calculate 333 times. Okay? Now, this is a very good number, by all means, but it's also not reality. Reality is almost endless, you know, it's infinite, the amount. And the higher the speed, the more this is a limiting factor. Because, for example, let me give you an example that I've written somewhere, because I don't remember all that stuff uh, by memory, of course. So, uh, let me just find out exactly the example that I have made for you, to make it understood better. All right, so here it is. So, what it means, to give you an example, uh, at 250 kilometers per hour, okay, the the car moves, uh, we have to make this uh, meters per second, because we said that we are refreshing 333 times per second, so instead of talking kilometers per hour, let's talk meters per second, okay? So, 250 kilometers per hour is 69 meters per second, okay? That means that every second, okay, your car moves by 69 meters. And those 69 meters, our physics engine refreshes 333 <laughs> uh, times, okay, during those 69 meters, okay? Uh, what that means? It means that um, if if you have, uh, it means that your your ground collisions, your ground collisions are updated every 21 centimeters. So we refresh one time, the car moves by 21 centimeters, and we refresh another time again. Okay, that is what it means. Which means 21 centimeters could be the difference by feeling the step on a curb or not okay that is why on some very older um, simulators that had uh, uh, even lower refresh rates okay you could go the faster you could go over the curbs and the smoother the curbs would would feel because practically the refresh rate was not fast enough to get all the steps of the curb right so again uh, old physics engine, we would refresh at 250 kilometers every 21 centimeters. In version 1.8, because of big, big optimization into our physics engine, we are now capable of refreshing every 400 times per second. Now, one might say, well, you know, okay, 333 to 400, it's not a big deal. In reality, it is 20% improvement, and it means that instead of refreshing every 21 centimeters, we now refresh every, if I'm not wrong, uh, 17 centimeters. So it is quite an important uh, improvement uh, over there. And it doesn't stop just in the horizontal movement of the car. There are even higher speeds where the suspension and the tires move up and down. So now this is key. When the suspension and the dampers move up and down, they create oscillation, and that oscillation has a frequency. And at very high frequencies, like when the tire goes over the curb steps, for example, you need to have the physics engine calculating the springs and the dampening of the springs. And this is very high re uh, refresh, right? Which means that now we have a 20% improvement over there, 
we can calculate those oscillations even better.